But there we have so many magas in Nairobi. Cheki made me in a set, cheki kama mi kama luku na. Nairobi is the New York of Africa. Do you agree with me? What if I did a video about Nairobi? Dark life. The dark, in the dark streets of Nairobi. It's almost night time. So we can get back to the streets. Yeah? We showcase what uh, we have in the streets. Let's show what's that in, in the street. I know I am in somewhere along Tiru, though I'm not sure of the specific street. Yeah? And let me show you Nairobi. Let me show you the dark parts of Nairobi. Allow me to reintroduce myself. This is Go See Africa. Did you know that Nairobi is the most organized town in, in the world? However, when it comes to nighttime, Nairobi Street turns to a marketplace. You can easily confuse yourself to being in Zamora, Mexico or being in Lagos, Nigeria. I promise to be very genuine in whatever I do. So we begin our show at Tomboya Street and now sit back, relax and enjoy. Before me is the Tomboya monument. Uh, Tomboya is one of the celebrated guys for fighting for independence. And to my, to my right is the Kenya National Archives. Then to my extreme right where the Matatus are, that is Moy Avenue. To my right, we have a very famous food joint which is so much known for their pizza, Galitos. Mm -hmm. If you're a lady and have never been taken to a date in Galitos, then I, I swear you die properly. Then to my left is Hilton Hotel. Hilton is one of the biggest hotels in Kenya. You may wonder, why doesn't Kenya find a way of managing the traffic in the city? It's not easy. We have a governor who tried to uh, manage this. And unfortunately, he was hosted. Yeah, you know, these people are rich guys, yeah? So they never want you to correct them. They want them to do what they wish. We are now in Kimadi Street, and you can see by yourself, the place is so congested. And uh, the most sad part about Nairobi, we don't uh, obey traffic rules. Now here, you don't have traffic lights, and you just cross as you wish. Just watch. The current governor of Nairobi allowed filming in the city. However, security starts with you. We have magas in the city. We have corner in the city. We have all kinds of people in the city. And now, welcome to the uptown of Nairobi.
Did you know that the affluent, the rich class of Nairobi and uh, the proletariats really mingle? We have the uptown for the rich, the downtown for the middle class. It's only in Nairobi where the rich have a special road. The rich have their special place in the town. And that's why the poor will always see the, the rich as their enemies. They always think that the rich are stealing from them. And thus, the rich have learned the art of keeping their own lands. They have learned to, to live their own life. They don't go downtown. The building before me is the famous 680 Hotel.
And now we are to the famous Koinange Street. What do you know Koinange for? Have you ever heard of Koinange Street? I think everyone must have heard of the Koinange Street at some point. Yeah. And do you know Koinange has some of the most successful businesses? Did you know that Koinange is not that simple as you think? We are officially in Koinange Street and you can see by yourself Koinang is one of the cleanest streets we have in town. If you lived in Nairobi a decade ago, then definitely you know Florida Madhouse. Uh, Florida Madhouse was located on my left, where we have uh, the KTDA building. Yeah, This is a club which is, was known for jam sessions. Then, um, you know, where, where there is a club, definitely the prostitutes will come there. The sex pets will come there. Yeah, And it's so easy to convince a drunkard than convincing a, a sober man. 
This is a club which is was built on top of a petrol station. Can you imagine parting on top of a petrol station? What if it burns up? What if it lights up? grew up with the theory of the prostitutes of Koinange streets in Nairobi, Kenya. Now that we have gone from uh, one end to the other end of the street, we found none. Yeah? Should we disapprove the th this theory? I officially disapprove it. There are no prostitutes in Koinange. Not unless they do, uh, they do their businesses differently nowadays. Yeah? I remember when I was a student, I used to find some, a few, a few bad, yeah, not that, not that many, but currently there is none, man. So, uh, the mission today is officially imported. We have no prostitutes in Koinang, yeah. Maybe they should change the name. Some lady almost fell down. Looking at me. Looking looking at me, me behaving like a madman. W walking while talking in the streets. It's only a madman who walks in the streets talking, yeah? Aimlessly. I'm not doing this aimlessly. I'm showing you the beauty of Africa. Something. Uh, I promise to to be showing the negative side and the and the posi the negative side and the positive side of Africa. The thing I'm seeing is, is positive, man. I haven't seen anything negative. Do I stop recording?
Nairobi is the New York of Africa. Do you agree with me? So probably uh, Runda you can, can only be compared with Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's agree. In the whole world, the best towns to live in, you can say, the, the, let, let me change, uh, let, let me retrieve that. The, be, the be, most beautiful towns we have in, in the world, uh, it's Nairobi, New York, then Hong Kong. Do you agree with me? Leave a comment. Say something there. But there we have so many magazines in Nairobi. Though we are in Uptown, I have to end this, to end this video here. Yeah. I have to stop shooting. I have to stop recording. You see the beauty? You see the beauty? This is Go See Africa. Subscribe to this channel. Leave, leave a comment. And please, don't forget to like my video. Goodbye.